I'm Joe Lane, Product Director for Biomast and Wood Gas Gation CHP Systems here at Absolute. Uh, we also specialise in wind turbines and commercial solar. Uh, we're delighted to be launching our first gasification CHP unit in East Kilbride uh, that we've installed with our distribution partner, HEVAC. Hi there, I'm David McPherson. I'm the Managing Director of HEVAC and we're involved in the supply uh, of energy efficient equipment. Um, in this particular case, we're going to talk today about uh, wood gas CHP. We felt that the partnership with HEVAC uh, gave us not only a comfort in, in where we were looking to go as a business, but also in, in terms of the comfort for, for customers and end users, um, and that we have an expertise right across the product. It really was our background on combined heat and power, um, absolutes. Uh, involvement with them, um, not just uh, biomass boilers but again they had experience from handling fuel um, and also from an electrical point of view from their background where they've installed wind turbines and solar PV systems. So again it wasn't just a biomass company that were getting involved, they already had some knowledge and good knowledge uh, on uh, connecting to the grid and you know what the requirements are going to be when we produce power. The difference here is that we've not only got a biomass boiler, you know, we've got a wood gasification combined heat and power unit. We're producing heat from when, through the process of collecting gas that we're going to feed the engine, but we're also, we're also uh, collecting heat from the engine when we're producing electricity. So rather than burning the wood, we're actually heating the wood and creating a gas and using that as a fuel for an engine. So there are key differences, but in terms of the, the project as a whole, Right from, the, you know, right from the, the, the concept of this project, right through to it being completed, you know, there's, there's very little that's actually new to us. Wood gas CHP, as I said, has incredible um, uh, rewards and paybacks. Um, however, we have erred on caution in our particular site. Um, we have allowed 7,000 run hours in our first year. We are paid for producing power. We're paid for exporting power and we're also produce, uh, paid for producing heat. Now a combination of all of these um, uh, rewards um, for these, um, whether it be heat or power, we have budgeted about £70,000 per annum. Now the reality is we are conservative with the levels that we've got. If we run at the right outputs and we run the right hours, it could easily reach £100,000, but that's none of budgets and we wouldn't encourage um, anyone to, to look at what it could do, but be more realistic about it, what it's likely to do. We're happy to bring anyone to site at any time and, and take them through the operation of the system and explain to them you know, the, the whole process that we've been through right from the, uh, from the concept with this, right through to the completion and, uh, and the associated operation and maintenance that, uh, that we support on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. We have uh, learned so much um, from our first installation, although again I stress we've had literally hundreds of machines all over the UK with combined heat and power. The challenge here is taking a site that's not very practical to install this particular system, um, but the learning process that we've gained both Absolute and HEVAC um, from everything from designing a fuel store uh, to fuel handling to choosing the right telehandler um, looking at the maintenance, looking at the not just the gasifier but the CHP side. I would suggest and firmly believe that the decisions that we've made um, and the mistakes that we've made, um, our clients will benefit from some of the, um, the things that we've done correctly, but will also benefit from some of the mistakes um, you know, where we've constructed a particular fuel store and it's maybe not the way it should have been done, you know, but we, we've, we've learned, you know, the, the next time we build a fuel store or we, uh, you know, look at how we should integrate a particular piece of, you know, kit, um, I think we'd be far better um, versed than most because it's our building, we are managing and maintaining, um, you know, collectively how we uh, run and operate the CHP. So there isn't a day goes by when we're not learning something new, whether it be about fuel handling uh, or indeed uh, wood gasification with a CHP. Mm -hmm.